most of you who've been watching my videos know that I don't use smoke to, to uh, uh, allegedly control bees. Um, what I use is uh, water spray instead. Here it is. Uh, this is my favourite water spray. The um, reason it's my favourite is because of this. Watch this carefully. Spray, 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 spray. It sprays on both strokes. Not, not terribly well on the outstroke, admittedly. It used to be better than this, but it, it produces a nice fine mist. That's the important thing. <clears throat> you don't want to go hosing your bees down like you're trying to do crowd control. Um, you want to just make a nice gentle mist over them. I'll show you how they respond actually. Let's try on this hive here. Um, I'm about to do a split on this hive so it's, uh, it's good practice for them. If I gently peel back the acetate you can see there's good good many bees here. If I just shake those guys off. Now then, so we've got bees on the top here, on the surface, tops of the frames. Now if I just gently spray with water, what happens? Bees disappear. They go down. And that's all that's needed. No smoke, no smell, no poisoning of honey, no pathogens, no uh, no pollution, nothing unpleasant for me to breathe in, and the bees just get their heads down. There's no fuss and no alarm, no triggering of uh, escaping or uh, anything else that, that's going to cause them a problem. Okay, so that's why I was use a water spray. Very simple. Okay. Uh, there's propolis on here that I can scrape off and while we're talking about propolis I'm just going to pop the lid back on this or just pop the, uh, the screen back on. While we're talking about propolis some of you will have seen my video on the possibility of using sublimated propolis as a potential treatment for a uh, well-known virus that's around at the moment which will remain nameless um, and it occurred to me that and I'm certainly not the first to have this thought because uh, bees themselves have been using propolis to protect themselves against uh, pathogens ever since the beginning of their evolution, no doubt. So, um, but what I've done here, if I can do it one-handed, uh, if I unscrew the spray thing on my bottle and take it out, you can see here what I've done <clears throat> is I've wrapped a piece of propolis. I've just... Um, made some propolis into a ball and then wrapped it around the tube of the spray uh, because that will increase its surface area compared with just dropping a ball of it into the pot but also um, some of the active ingredients in propolis are actually water soluble. I didn't want to just drop it into the water because it would be likely to clog up the uh, intake here and, and therefore make this render the spray useless but so I thought if I wrapped it around the tube here um, it's not going to get into the, uh, into the mechanism, um, but it will over time, some of it will dissolve into the water. So um, that's what I've done. And so that way I can add propolis to my water spray. Also in this bottle is some birch sap. And again, hopefully some of you will have seen the video I did. I did a couple of videos on the use of birch sap with bees. Uh, again, I you know this, this is all experimental. Please don't get the idea that I've um, I've done any real kind of major research on this, but it just seems to me obvious that um, materials like birch sap and propolis, both of which have a fine record of um, medicinal properties, you know, there's a lot of data to support their use. I'm just standing in the way of these bees here, so I'm just going to move slightly. There's a lot to support the, uh, the use of propolis and birch sap for various conditions. Propolis certainly has some antiviral properties, as has been well documented, and um, birch sap has a, um, shall we say, a stimulant effect uh, due to its uh, content include uh, betulinic acid and um, methyl salicylate and many amino acids and minerals so it, it's got to be good well it is we know it's good for us uh, and therefore we can make some guesses that it might also be useful for bees although of course there's no obvious and, and literal correlation between the two um, there's a decent chance that 
that it might indeed be uh, beneficial to bees. So we shall see. In any case, I don't feel uh, at all bad about spraying bees with a very mild mixture of birch sap and propolis and spring water, which is what the rest of the component of this spray is. So there we go. That's it for now. And um, if anybody has any thoughts, other thoughts about the use of propolis, then uh, please add your comments below. I'd be pleased to read them. So that's it for now. I'm going to get on with my work.